my name is Nicole Daher and I am owner and founder of Success on the Spectrum. Today we have a very special guest here to speak to you about the dangers of your children wandering away from home. I'd like to introduce to you Miss Liz Selig. Come on Miss Liz, hey, so Nicole, grateful that you're here. See you. So tell I know. <laughs> well, tell us about the incident that you had with your son. Okay. I have a seven-year-old son who's on the spectrum, and we live in Bel Air. And um, one evening in mid-May, he wandered away from our home, and um, I did not know that he was gone. And it was about 20 to 30 minutes later when I discovered this, and Bel Air PD basically reunited us, um, and it was a complete fluke. And so... Um, the safety aspect is of huge concern, I think, to, to all autistic parents or parents with autistic children. Absolutely. And as an ABA clinic, we always give advice to parents to help with wandering problems, like you have the deadbolt lock from the inside. Yes. We talked about my daughter has a GPS watch on her wrist. But sometimes these things don't work, and it does end up being the police's problem to locate the parent of a child who may not be able to verbalize who their parents are or where they live. So now I'd like to introduce Officer Edwards from Bel Air Police Department. So glad you're here. Thank you for Thank you. coming. So tell us, in a normal circumstance, the things that you have to do to reunite a child with their parents. Well, it's, it's hard, especially with nonverbal or, or kids who don't speak conversation as well as everybody else. That they, um, We try and get the best clues we can. I can. In Jackson, since he's wearing an Episcopal shirt, and one of the lifeguards said, I think he lives this direction. So we went looking for Episcopal signs in people's front yards. That's how we... So it's up to you to follow the breadcrumbs. It is. In the case where there's absolutely nothing for you, as a mom, I worry, what would you do to find me if you had absolutely no clues? We don't know. Uh, it's never happened yet, and we don't want it to happen. But now we have this program called Home Safe Bel Air, which is people can register for, and you register your kids. Adults can be registered also. And what it is is we have a picture and favorite things of the, of the child or of the person. And then if we find somebody, our dispatch can send a picture of, of whoever might be registered with us to each officer saying, is this the person? We can gather our clues from there and then hopefully take them home. And on, on the flip side is if, you, if your kid goes missing or an adult goes missing, the, the dispatch can send that picture immediately to everybody in a patrol car saying this is who we're looking for last seen in this area right here. It's almost like an effective Amber Alert. Yes. I think this is absolutely wonderful. How do people or residents or uh, parents of kids who go to school in Bel Air, how would they register for this program to submit their child's picture and information? So right now you can go to the Bel Air website, the City of Bel Air website, and it's on there called Home Safe Bel Air. You can fill everything out online, but you have to come to the station, or if you live in Bel Air, I can come to your house to complete the last step. That's taking a picture of your child, so we have a current picture, and um, that's, that's pretty much it's pretty easy. You have to make an appointment. You just can't show up. Uh, other than that, it's pretty easy. Very good. As an autism parent, we this is priceless for us. The safety of our children are always our number one priority, and to have the police work with us on such an amazing issue, I want to thank you so much for making all of this happen. I want to thank you so much for having an open ear and being so open and accepting of, of our concerns in our little city and hopefully we can spread this out to even Houston PD soon. So everyone log on to the City of Bel Air website, make an appointment to register your child for the safety of wandering. Thank you.